Now look who's waiting for me. Oh, it's up there, pretty kitty kitty. I don't know where you're going. I don't know where you're going. What do you want? I wonder what she wants. Can't be what she wants to sit on my lap. There's no way. Inconceivable. Oh, look where she is. Look where she is. Yeah. Yeah, that's her lap time. Yep. And she'll get some, and I'm off for my hike. So I'm off for my morning walk. My arm is feeling much better. Still going to take it a little easy and not quite ready to start throwing yet. I will wait until Saturday where I can get to a pad and uh, work on my form a little bit more. I did watch some more videos and kind of seen some areas where I can tweak my, my spin and hopefully get another couple feet out of it. But I need to practice that. And then, uh, <clears throat> you know, then it'll be showtime. So, looking kind of forward to that. Poor tree has sacrificed a lot for my training this year. <laughs> Anybody who's watched my throwing videos know what I mean. So I'm going to walk down to the neighbors and put some money in the mailbox for the eggs. Uh, plus some extra for future egg purchases. Corn is starting to get dried up. So I figure if it doesn't rain in about a week or two, they will start cutting down the corn. There's the field. You know, those tall flowers starting to spring up now. Uh, planted by the DNR years and years ago. And they got a lot of volunteer trees. They didn't plant any of those trees. <laughs> Those just happen to come up. Of course, the biggest portion is right there by the pond. So I need to do some trimming one of these days. Today could be the day, but I think I'll wait till next week. So, kind of a really nice morning. Probably about, oh, I imagine about 65 degrees right now. And it's, uh, about 9 a.m. I work a second shift, so I don't get home until almost midnight. Watch a little forging fire. Got to bed about eh, around 12:30. So usually I get up around. Well, I start thinking about getting up around seven. <laughs> you know, because I need I need at least six hours sleep. If I don't get the six hours sleep, then you're not really getting the uh, the rest to heal that you need. So I try to make sure I get at least that. Yeah, I was wondering what that was. Who he won't show that. <laughs> so we got the blue cows out there again. Now here's one moving in. Ah, you got the neighbor out there. Looks like they're spraying. Yep. They're spraying the fence line, not to kill the weeds. That's something new. I don't do that. I try to stay away from toxic chemicals as much as I can. Just not my cup of tea, I guess, as you would say. I guess it keeps the fence line clean. Oh, pretty much nice. Easy morning. A little spending time with the cat. She's been kind of trying to be tricky lately. And, uh, we'll eat the food really quick that Mama gives her in the morning so then she can play hungry when I'm here. She got me yesterday, but now we're up to her. She's starting to get a little heavy. Here's the puppy dogs again. So they got a 
visible fence there, and that's why they always stop there. Otherwise, maybe right there with me. That looks like Joel over there. I don't know if Cindy's going to be up or not. We'll say hi to the puppies. And uh, that's the door open. I'll uh, knock on the door and see if she's home. And then we'll do a, a part two of the walk. This is the very beginning portion of it. And it's a lot of fun because I get to see my puppy dogs. Puppy dogs, puppy dogs. All right, we'll pause here. Or I'll just start a new video.